Sean, uh, can you uh, take us through what yesterday's practice looked like uh, and then sort of the weather effect was? Yeah, really, it kind of forced us to be in a walkthrough above the next setting only. Um, our guys handled it really well. I think that's a credit to the maturity of the team. Uh, it was really windy out here, and so it kind of ran counterintuitive to really be able to get the work in that we wanted. But we were, uh, were able to get a lot of reps. We were able to still get all the meetings and the information that we wanted to get communicated to the guys. And, uh, you know, on a positive note, you got them out a little bit earlier, so they were able to spend Thanksgiving with their family and their loved ones. And then today we'll just get a couple more physical reps than what we're typically accustomed to on a Friday. But it actually works out just fine because we're coming off the bye. Guys have had a good bounce in their step all week, and, and so uh, that's kind of how we've handled that. It doesn't. No, he'll be good. Yeah. I, I think it kind of probably helps because we were actually able to get more reps. You know, you don't minute. You know, I, I let me t let me take that back. It it helps because he's getting up to speed mentally. Um, you don't take for granted how important those physical reps and the rapport that he and Matthew are continuing to develop is, and so. Um, because we'll do a little bit more reps today, we'll end up getting about the same amount that we would in a normal week, Lindsay. So um, it'll be a good thing, but, but he's done great. I've been really impressed. He's been a joy to be around. He's handled things like a pro, um, and he's a really smart player. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been great being around him, and he's picked things up very quickly. Yeah, a, a lot more. Hopefully, um, you know the the old, you know Vaughn did a good job. Played a lot of snaps. I think he'll be that much more healthy, that much more fresh coming off the bye and and giving his ankle another you know and a handful of days to continue to make progress and steps in the right direction without having any setbacks over these last couple of weeks. And then Odell just getting more familiar. I mean, you look at it. I mean, for him to even be able to have played in, in the game against the Niners is an incredible you know credit to him. I think he, you know, that'd be a question for him, Lindsay. I don't notice any limitations. Um, you know, I don't know if anybody's ever truly 100% at this point in the season when you're playing the amount of snaps that he's played. But um, I don't sense, you know, he, he hasn't had any hitch in his giddy. He's, he's looked like he's moving around really well and he's comfortable being able to plant, retrace, and move around on that thing. Yeah, I think um, you'd have to ask him about that. You know, I I, I know that he uh, he he loves the game. You know, I mean, he's one of those guys too. Just from watching him from afar, he picks things up. I mean, whether it's you know, you see him and he does stuff with soccer, or picks up a baseball bat, and some of the celebrity you know <laughs> uh, softball games I've seen him playing. This guy is one of those guys that he's just blessed and he's good at everything that he does. And so he loves throwing the ball around. Um, you know, I didn't see all of that, but uh, it's a it's incredible. I think he just has fun. He's got a real joy competing and, and playing this game. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a great competitor, and that's what great competitors do. And, um, you know, like I said, I think there's something to be said for guys that just have a, a joy for competing, and, and he certainly is one of those guys. Will he have a role in return? There's a possibility. Sean, um, coming up a loss and going into the bye week and now kind of having limited opportunities because of the wind and whatnot, I mean, are, are you concerned collectively? being able to fully prepare 
you know, I, I just try to concern myself with the things that I can control, Gary. And, um, you know, those that's really where I kind of try to spend my time and energy. Would you have liked to have a normal practice? Yeah, sure. But I think you try to just deal with the hand that you're dealt. And I was really pleased with our guys. And, and that's, uh, you know, you say, okay, well, what's the positive in this? We're going to be fresher. We're able to adjust coming off the bye today. So um, those are things that I don't really think too much about other than, all right, how can we maximize uh, the situation, the circumstances that we're dealt with to put ourselves in a position to play at our best on Sunday. Yeah, I know you can only control, you know, what you can control. Yep. Given that you're dealing with this wind every year around this time, yeah. I mean, how pressing is it for you to get into a facility where perhaps you have an indoor option? Well, it gives you more flexibility, but on a positive, like you mentioned, you know, this isn't anything that we're not accustomed to dealing with. Now, being the fifth year here, and so – um, in some instances, you can definitely pull some positives, but um, yeah, those are those are things that, again, it's it's kind of out of my control, um, and so we've gotten comfortable dealing with those circumstances. And the nice thing too is, you guys saw us do this last year. In a lot of instances, we'd say, okay, let's go somewhere else, or maybe let's go to SoFi. But because it was Thanksgiving, all the things that you know we really value and that are important, and making sure that you're considerate of these guys with their family, their loved ones, all those things. That was why we took that approach. If this was another week, maybe you explore going down to SoFi if it's available or going to another venue to really get the totality of a, of a full Thursday in-season practice. So um, that was what I thought was great for last year is the flexibility. And, and you know, there's got to make sure there's no scheduling conflicts, but that was a, a nice way of kind of adjusting last year. And if it wasn't Thanksgiving, that might have been something that we would have explored. I'm hopeful. You know, today will be a big uh, indicator to see how he feels. Did some really good sprint work on Wednesday and responded well, didn't have any sort of setbacks. And so today, being able to really ramp him up, I think will give us a better feel. And, um, you know, so because we haven't practiced yet, it's hard for me to truly say, but he's trending in the right direction. I think opportunities, uh, maximizing the opportunities, and, and really sometimes um, you know, you can unfairly categorize a guy just based on, you know, just, okay, he's a little bit smaller in stature, but he's a really good football player. And, you know, to his credit, he just kept competing. He's a mentally tough guy. He's resilient. And, and when he got his opportunities, he delivered. And, and you realize probably should have been on the active roster the whole time. Yeah, I think we've got a lot of guys like that. You know, Double D's got an infectious personality. Um, you know, I, there's a lot of guys that represent what's right about this locker room because they care about their teammates. They want to welcome them with open arms. Um, and so I think, you know, that's one of the many things and one of the many people that do a great job with that.